G'day everyone. I'm finally getting around to doing an update video of the Citrus here in Cork in Ireland. I've got the Satsuma on the left, the Australian Outback Lime in the middle, and then a very, very dead Satsuma on the right. So I have a feeling that this Satsuma died fairly early on. Um, it's been a good three years or so since I planted these. Um, it was planted in the what I thought was the best position in the sun here and I think it just got not enough water, too much sun and not enough TLC. Whereas this one up here, you can see I've got a drain that comes down there. It was overflowing and I think the water consistently got flowed into the, uh, the soil around the base of that citrus and it kept it surviving. So neither of them really look like they've grown that much. I'd say this one just looks like a slightly bigger version of itself. It hasn't really put on any new leaves or anything. Um, but it is still alive. The rootstock, I was expecting it to shoot out quite significantly, but it hasn't. Um, you'll notice I've got these guards on here. It's because these, the bark on these trees, unfortunately, have been eaten during the winter. And um, we've put up some protection now. I don't know whether that was rabbits or voles or rats or whatever it was. Same has happened over here. You can see it quite clearly. And um, it's even up quite high there. But... I think there's enough cambium left to, uh, to grow over and heal that as long as it doesn't get any further damage. Now these leaves look quite sick, they're very yellow, quite small, I mean this looks very very ill. Um, but the exciting thing is that, look there's a little satsuma there, doesn't look very healthy and there was actually some peel on the ground behind me which means that there might have actually been a few more on here at some point. But we've also got some dead branches. And um, it has grown actually, I can see there's been some growth here. And it's April now here in Ireland, which means we're in spring. And there are some buds. Look at that. So this Satsuma has definitely survived the cold. It's lost some branches, but it has come back and put on some new growth. Um, it survived. It fruited, which means it must have flowered. And um, let's, let's go for it. Well, that's as hard as a rock. Well, I'm just gonna bite it in half. We'll have a look inside. Okay, it's actually, even though it's miniature, it's quite well formed. So I just ate the inside out of that. And um, yeah, tastes like a satsuma. It's not very sweet. But if you are looking to grow a citrus in Ireland and have a tree that actually produced something, you know, where you wanted to use the rind and wanted to have just some citrus flavor, this might be as close as you get. Because I didn't see any sign at all of these outback limes. It doesn't look like there's much indication that they flowered or had fruit at all. So there you go, I had to do that quick update. It's been years. This is the first time I've been back at this house for a long time because of COVID and been living in Australia. It's a real shame to see that Satsuma died on the right so early on. Um, it probably would have survived like the other one if it had had a bit of TLC, a bit, of more, bit more water. But um, overall, we have life, uh, they're surviving. Um, I really wouldn't recommend trying to grow that outback lime here, but um, maybe you could try and grow a lime tree where you just want to use the leaves rather than the fruit. It might be still useful. That might be my next trial that I try. All right, well, thanks for watching.